Hey guys, Max Brown here. <clears throat> I've done with several videos I've done before. I've often uh, got into a subject or something different than just plain um, things that uh, you know maybe you need to know, or, or maybe you should uh, you know, oops, uh, kind of be aware of, or just things that are on a different plane besides just bass, but usually having something to do with music. Well, I thought uh, since I'm between bases right now and don't have anything new to review or anything, I, I thought that, you know, people have been asking me about uh, teaching and um, uh, giving advice, uh, you know, what are the base bases that go for, and I'm going to try to explore all that. But today I just I'm going to cover a few things, seven things um, about the base I just thought uh, you should know or should be aware of. Um, when playing and uh, or when uh, and or playing playing with a band or other people, I got some seven of them that um, you know I don't know, I'm not sure everybody else has covered out there on YouTube, but maybe maybe not. Let's say now, these are some things I feel you should uh, that are important about it. And uh, let me kind of straighten this over, a little bit over there. Okay. Well, number one is um, don't be base prejudice. You know, um, if you're you know, you know it, it kind of bothers me when I hear people saying, well, I'm a rock bassist, uh, I'm a jazz bassist, you know, I don't do that other stuff. You know, bass is bass. Okay, you need to get into a whole lot. You need to do, you know, like country and everything. Uh, you know, just, just try it out and see if you like it. Uh, you never know, you might get a gig doing a, a polka, uh, a bar mitzvah or something. You know, I mean, you, you, you never know. You should be aware about different musics. And uh, they all carry a bass. Line, so you should be uh, into it and try to uh, emulate. You never know. Uh, knowing as many different types of uh, genres will certainly uh, keep you in business. I tell you that uh, as far as gigs are concerned. So, you know, try to be open and, and you know, not be base prejudice, okay? Another thing is, is don't be base selfish. There's a lot of uh, riffs, uh, base riffs, uh, you know, you can call that. Uh, I mean, um, playing funk, uh, different tricks you can do on the bass that so many people have done. And uh, I learned these little different, you know, different tricks of the trade. Turnarounds and stuff like that. From listening to bass players, but also meeting them in like uh, guitar shops. And they, uh, back then when I was a kid, man, they didn't mind telling you what to do. They didn't mind uh, showing some tricks of the trade that bass players know. And it was handed down from bass player to bass player. And that's, that's one of the ways you got good. One of the ways you uh, really got into it. Uh, but, I don't know, seeing as I get older, there's a crowd of people, musicians, uh, in general, who seem to be very selfish about it. They don't want to show you some of the things they're doing, especially you know, you know, people who are playing pop or playing church. They you know, say, hey, how do you do that, man? Well, hey, man, it's part of my shtick. I can't let that out, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't copyright at all, okay? <laughs> you need to share, you know. And, and when you share, it brings other bass players up and it elevates the instrument. People come out with things new. How is she going to do it, right? So don't, don't be so bass selfish, okay? Uh, another thing is, uh, I guess you could say what all, all is part of being bass selfish is, Bass arrogant. Oh my god, man. There's some instrumentalists out there, not just bass, all instrumentalists, man. Do they think they've reached a certain plateau where they're about the best and nobody can overcome come them, right? They're just the best that there is. And it's like, I didn't know it was a competition. I thought we were all here. I had room enough for everybody to play here, you know. Oh man, they're walking around with their noses in the air and, you know, and. Won't even talk to you. I mean, I've met a few of these people, and some other people I won't mention any names that uh, are pretty famous and popular, and you 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 know in the uh, the media, and and that was the biggest turn off, man. I that really didn't like that, man. I just you know uh, makes me feel different about them. So you know, you know, you know there's no reason. To, you know, we all we have, all have our moments where we think we're being bothered or not, but really, it only takes a few seconds to. You know, just tell somebody, um, you know, thank you for, uh, you know, listening to myself, come stuff and going to my concerts. You know, it's, 
Don't be base arrogant. Don't be like that, man. You know, find it in yourself to share with everybody. Okay. Um, along with that, uh, you can't be base timid. You got to get out there and play. You can't half play. No. Oh, sorry. You know, I've, you it, once you're confident and you got a baseline now, play it. I mean, play it soundly. Play it so they can hear it. You know, don't 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 be timid. I used to be timid out when I was younger. You know, because I was afraid I was gonna mess up a note. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, you know, notes. You know, um, you know, sometimes you're gonna mess up. You're you're not a machine. You just play through it and keep going. You know, don't be base timid. You know, be you know, make sure your your lines are well practiced and do it. Play confidently, loudly. Okay. Um, don't forget. I call this don't forget your day job. <laughs> Um, don't forget the, uh, that the primary function created by the bass, uh, is to help the uh, drummer set that rhythm and really lay the foundation of that melody, you know, which everybody bounces and plays off of you. That's, that's your main job. Now, later on, when you get into your solo projects, you can, you know, go ahead, you know, do all the riffing and all the, the Stanley Clark and, and, and Victor Wooten and, and <laughs> You know, all you want to, you know, solo bass is nice, but, um, you know, there's a place for everything, you know, even guitarists don't solo and everything, you know, and I've seen people just kind of overplay, they, instead of playing a line, they'll go, you know, it's like, okay, man, we know you can play. Um, now, some people are excited by that. I'm not, I'm a standard bass player. I like to play the line and maybe give a little turnaround or a cliche little lick here and there, but I don't. I don't ever want to be part of the music and there's a singer out there, you know, singing the song and overplaying over her, her vocals. You know, you know, right now I'm backing her up. That's my job. Keeping that, that foundation there with the bass and backing her up. When that's my job, that's what I do. So call it old fashioned, that's what I do. I, you know, you know, don't don't forget your day job. Don't don't forget that you are the bass player. You gotta keep that meat, okay? And the solo stuff, that's that's for you later. That's on your own, you know. Um, don't be afraid of multitasking. Uh, I did a concert years ago where, okay, I wasn't as proficient with playing and singing at the same time, which is uh, a good skill to have. I'm much, much better at it now. But back then in my younger days, uh, my you know, early 20s, uh, I was um, doing a song that I had written by myself and put it on a record uh, in a band. And, uh, in fact, it was called Incurable Romantic. And you know what? I'm going to put down the uh, link here and I'll show you. This is back in the 80s, so don't laugh at me. But <laughs> that's the song I did. And uh, I couldn't really sing and play it at the same time back then. So... Uh, my friend, uh, what was it, Mark? It was it Mark or Adrian? It was Mark Jones, who we were in a band together, and he usually played guitar. We had another guitarist named Adrian Bennett. And basically, uh, Mark would take the bass while I would sing by myself, you know, which was, was kind of a cool thing, man. I'd get up there and I'd, la, la, you know, <laughs> incurable, romantic, by myself while he played the bass. So that's kind of a multitasking thing. You know, I also play a little keyboards. Don't be afraid to, you know, explore other instruments. Uh, if you can play keyboards and drums and, you know, like Prince, he played everything. If you can switch, like the, the group switch, you know, that's a good thing. You know, you never know. Uh, it's, 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 it's uh, you know, you can't just say, you know, I'm the bass player. I, I, I'm going to play. Now, the bass is all you play. There's nothing you can do about it. But don't be afraid. If you can play other things, don't be afraid, be afraid to, you know, help out. In the band, it just makes the band better, and you get back on bass after you're through. So no, don't be uh, you know, and and, and also, uh, singing background vocals. That's another art you can practice on, um, that helps the band out, and also uh, doing choreographing. You know, dance move, earth, wind, and fire. <laughs> no, it looks silly. Anyway, <laughs> doing stuff like that, man. Don't don't, you know, don't don't be afraid to multitask. That's number. That's number six on my list. And number seven, the last one, I mean, it's basically a com, uh, combination of all of it. Be fair, be cooperative, and be open. 
uh, that's something that you should do um, to make uh, all the members of the band. I know, you know, sometimes bands is like a relationship, and sometimes you got to bump heads, but to try to come to a fair and meaningful agreement that uh, you can stand and makes the band better and makes the band closer and it'll make you vibe better. So those are the seven things that I have here that I think a bass player should know. Uh, don't be bass prejudiced. Don't be uh, bass selfish. Don't be bass arrogant. Don't be bass timid. Uh, don't forget your main purpose, that day job. Don't forget your main purpose as a bass player. Uh, multitask. And be fair and cooperative and open. So I hope that, um, you know, that gave you a little insight on how I, I think about when playing out there. And uh, I hope that helped you in some way, okay? Earl Davis, Max Proud Channel. Uh, until next base, no base today, but until next news base, I'll see you. And uh, give me some comments on this video if you liked it, okay? See you later.